Hello everyone, it is Irie Public Studs here to do a quick review of set 75238, the Action Battle Endor Assault set. Coming with 193 pieces, retailing for $20, and coming with two figures. Now starting off on the front, we see a depiction of a little battle or skirmish on Endor with Wicked the Ewok and the Scout Trooper. You'll flip it around, you will notice a nice little depiction of all the play features you get in this set, as well as all of the elements. And there is a different take where there's this all wood floor background. First up, we have the Scout Trooper. This guy is pretty cool. Obviously, a very detailed figure. This was one of his first appearances, and I think overall his printing is amazing. I love this brand new style of helmet. He is the main feature and function like that anyone who doesn't want this for the playability will buy this set. He comes with an angry clone head. This guy's going for around $15, so you might as well just buy the set and get the few extra pieces and wick it, in my opinion, if it's still for sale in your area. But you've got some nice leg printing, nice torso printing, and nice back printing. Next up, we have Wicked the Ewok. Nothing too special here. Obviously, this is a classic mold. This guy's been around forever. He was in the Ewok Village. Now, this is quite an interesting set. While the box does say it is for ages 7 and up, it still is a quite an interesting thing. I think this would be more appropriate for maybe 5 and up. I just think this is such a simplistic build with such simplistic ways of play and everything. I think that would personally make more sense to me. But let's get into the build. First up, we have these two quick little shooter thingies. All you have to do to play with these is pull it back and they shoot with a lot of force. And they are nice to like level on the ground to aim. Here's the first build. It is a treehouse. Obviously nothing too special. Again, I'm not a huge fan of these little targets right here. But yeah, the point is you hit the target, this little Technic piece moves it back, and basically your Ewok is supposed to get flung out. Now this is a pretty simple mechanism. All you have to do is load up the gun, shoot it, and the Ewok comes out. Now here is a little clip. You can also put his little Technic thing. There's also all these Technic pieces. You get some tree shrubbery and a nice little platform. It's okay for what it is, but nothing extreme. Now, here's our other build. I will say this is one of the cruddier versions of the speeder bike, but, you know, it's okay. It's not supposed to be super accurate, but it does get the idea across. I like how the little engine piece is just sna snagging right there. There's also a little area for his pistol. I noticed they're hiding the weapons a good chunk in this set. Like, in, this, in the box, they don't have them carrying it, which I find it interesting. But, yeah, there's two little plants down here just to, you know ground it and all you have to do for this boy is the same thing you're gonna want to put your scout trooper in here he can't really reach the handlebars so he's kind of screwed oh no we're hit <laughs> now we get to the part for my personal opinion on the set i think it's quite an interesting set and i think the thing that hurts this set the most is the fact that this was 30 dollars you're not getting that in the figures you're not getting that in the bills it was 20 dollars on black friday when i was able to get it so that would have certainly made it more worth it but the figures you're getting are nothing extremely special. You could get the Scout Trooper in other builds. The builds are Garbo, and I think for $30, you'd be much better off getting a 501st Battle Pack or Encounter on Tatooine set. I just don't know how those sets are even in the same category in terms of prices. This should be a $15 set at best. I feel Battle Packs are way more valuable than this. I mean, instead of this, you could get that 501st Battle Pack over there or even the new Trouble on Tatooine. You could even get two of these Mandalorian battle packs where you'll get eight figures and 102 pieces in each with a, with a total of 204 pieces, which is more than this for 30 bucks. And I think that's why I'm going to give this set a 5 out of 10. Not because it's for younger kids and the playability. That's fine. The problem is the price being $30 and you're not getting any extremely exciting minifigures. The f Obviously, the Scout Trooper is nice, but nowhere ne near the $30 price point. And I, the fact that this would rarely go on sale actually baffles me. But with that said, I hope you guys enjoyed. Please remember to like, subscribe, hit the bell, do all the other things, and I'll see you all in the next one.